And Tony Finau is the winner of the 2021 Northern Trust. This is a day he'll remember for a long time. I thought this one was huge. You know, it's, it was huge for me, it was huge for my family, huge for all my supporters back home in Utah. Thank you, love you guys. Thank you. I have so many family, friends, and supporters back home in Utah and really throughout the nation. So this is, you know, for all of them and I'm excited that we can share this together. I hope you know what you're watching here. You're watching the greatest native-born Utah golfer that's ever played. And his story is the American story. It, it's the best of, of what we have to offer here. It's so fun to see Tony and what he's doing in the state to promote golf, um, especially in our underserved communities. We're so excited to have an ambassador like Tony uh, for the state of Utah. It's quite a story. It's one that I love talking about because it is my story. Sometimes I have to pinch myself, you know, but um, if I didn't go through it, <laughs> then I wouldn't believe it. For Tony Finau, the 2021 Utah Championship is many things. Up, a homecoming, uh, you good? a family reunion, a chance to continue to give back to the people in place that helped shape him. Extremely grateful and just feel very blessed that, you know, I have a, a state behind me that supports me the way they do. Nice to see y'all. Have a good week. Enjoy Utah. Rose Park is a little 6,600 yards, 6,700 yard golf course. It is an area where maybe some of the people are a little bit less fortunate that, that haven't had all the worldly possessions in life. Just a muni golf course here, you know? It's just a flat course. All sorts of people here, you know, there's just from all walks of life. Finau's backstory is about as improbable as any on the PGA Tour. His dad bought him some thrift store clubs, cut him down. They just played a lot and they just had natural talent. And then before you knew it, they were just some of the best junior golfers in the, in the country. You know, I, I used to have this phrase that says, if you didn't know any better, you're better off. That, that's, that's what we did. We didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> Tony and his brother Gipper became celebrities in the local golf scene. Two Polynesian kids out working and out driving their competition. Gipper had the talent, very athletic, just natural. Tony had the love for the game. The fact that Gipper was so good it pushes Tony to go work harder. Tony's career took off, winning the Utah State Amateur in 2006, then turning professional the following year, qualifying and making the cut at a PGA Tour event, all before the age of 18. He's very impressive. I mean, this is one of those guys I've never heard about before. I mean, this guy can hit it miles. That's a great feeling, you know, I got a little nervous stepping over a couple of them because uh, these are the guys I watch on TV and admire, but I'm sure they know now I had the ball farther than them, so. My foundation logo, you can clearly see the TF. I think that's pretty clear. What is a little more subtle is there's a little V at the bottom there, and that's for my mom. Her name is Ravina. Everybody called her Vina. In late 2011, as Fino was in the midst of grinding his way to the PGA Tour, Vina was killed in a car accident. She's this lady that lived a life of service, was always serving others, and so this foundation is a big part to her and to honor her. The death of his mother, a sentinel moment in Finau's life and career. The pain, eventually serving as motivation. The color green is by no accident. It was her favorite color. Uh, I try to incorporate that on Sundays by wearing it on Sunday. So there's a lot of things that I do to try and honor my mother because she was such an important influence in my life. Less than a year later, he qualified for the Corn Ferry Tour for the first time, eventually winning and earning his PGA Tour card in 2014. Then, first winning on the PGA Tour in 2016, a star was born. Because of where he's come from and how long it took him to get to the tour, he's hungry still, and I love that about him, as he's really hungry to succeed and, and to accomplish his goals. Tony's not only a great ambassador for Utah, he's a great ambassador for golf. And I'll tell you, from all the years I've known him, 
He is as good of a guy as you think he is when you see him on TV. I've been extremely blessed to be around the amount of great people I've been in contact with through the game of golf, through Utah. I would have never guessed that it could have, you know, turned into this, but I'm, I'm extremely grateful and blessed.